Martin here. I just come in to talk to Darren Smart, who's been using a Chromebook for I don't know quite quite a long time. Um, Darren, tell me about your Chromebook. How long have you been using the Chromebook for? Um, I've been using it. Well, I've been using Chrome for years, but I've just been using the Chromebook here mm. for um, I don't know about three or four months without any need to use Windows at all. So it's just pretty straightforward. But I'm actually in the process of making a normal network into a Chromebook. I'll just turn this out. Oh, that's interesting. That's actually a good time in that. So there's, I'm just literally, that's a normal netbook there. And there's a USB key, which I put Chromium on. Yeah, I can't, I'm not sure if I can see that. Can we see that? Yeah, oh, yeah, there we go. It's, it's there. Let me just hold yeah. it up and you can yeah, see I've it. Yeah, i got it. So yeah. it's just, it's that on here, basically, on the USB yeah. key. Um, so if you want to bear with me while I boot right, I it up. I'll watch this, this, watch this boot up. So obviously um, I've got to I'll turn boot. the camera around in a second. I've got to boot up into... I think you can't turn the camera around once it's started, can I? At the moment, this is just set to boot normally, so I have to just boot into the USB right. key, and I have to select the it's the Transcend disk, which is the USB key. So you got you got, you got an old one of our old yeah. Books, this is in is fact this is a broken one. In fact, just, there's a note on it that says trackpad is uh, is broken. So I've just but I'm just trying an experiment. So this is it now. So it's actually booting the USB key uh, straight into Chromium now. Which what, it, what, what, what is that? What version of Chromium? Uh, it's a slightly older version because it's a it's a it's a an experimental build. So this is, I think, uh, well, I don't know. It's like two point eight, mm. and this is three point four or something like that. And there you go. And I'm in. Um, really, really just so uh, wow. if you want to have a look at the screen instead, there, Martin. So this is me now, and of course, it still has the the login. Uh, to like a normal Chromebook does. That's very impressive. So, and in fact, if I lock this in Chromebook... Fact, it's, it's as fast to boot off of that... Uh, and it, as you can key, see, if I put these two side by side, yeah. that is a dedicated Chromebook. Um, that This here is a dedicated Chromebook. Bad like has got the windows behind us. I think, yeah, I was just about to see that, yeah. Okay, um, cool. But it's locked, and this yeah. is the one I've just booted up, but it's oh, waiting for me to lock it. just in. looks exactly the same. This is very impressive. Actually, boots up the same speed and everything as a, a Chromebook. Yeah. This is a good way to make use of our old equipment. This is a really fantastic way to make use of our old equipment. I was, re I was saying to Darren, I I've, I've read something like this um, on the BBC recently, um, Keypod um, in developing nations, I think it was Kenya, some poor areas of Kenya, given um, $7 for a Keypod uh, to each student, and um, they're taking old equipment from the West and um, taking the hard drives out, don't need the hard drive, and booting off their USB keys. Mm. That's really impressive. So, yeah. And there you go, so look, now I'm in... If I just go to my drive, uh, and you can just see on the drive there, and there's just a list of all your files, all my files, and that's it. And all it, what it's basically doing is essentially, um, when this boots up, it's using the Windows drivers and the network card basically to load Chromium. So all the system settings are already there. It's kind of nicking them from Windows, uh, which is on there. But if I want to, which I've not done yet, um, I can just press Control Alt T. And I could actually install this permanently on the hard drive. Uh, I, I was just about to ask you that. I was going. I really like the idea of you know you can take your um, key. I took this to Acton with me yesterday. You, use well, it I had a meeting, so I took it over there to use that rather than so I could just use any machine. Um, it doesn't work on every machine though. Um, I tried a few other Atom um, Core um, uh, note, notebooks, but it does work on the old seven four fives. It works on that That's rather tough. well, actually. And it works on the 755, and of course, I haven't tested yeah. it on everything. Yeah, because right. having the key sticking out, that's good for personal use, but um, we probably can't leave that around for, you know, in computer classrooms. But, wow, we can put the Chrome OS onto the... Yeah, it's early stages, wow. though. I, I've literally, as I was saying to you yeah. earlier, I've kind of the... You know, I'm, I'm still in the early stages yeah. of trying to get it up and running. It's a very stripped-back version as well, like in terms of the apps. Um, you can't just download any app for it, because I think it's processor-based as well. Yeah. So it's obviously... The, this is a Samsung N145, which obviously was never designed to be a Chromebook. Mm. Um, so even though it's got an Atom processor, again, it's it's limited yeah. by that. But the other another machine I just tried was an old XP netbook, and it booted up, booted up again beautifully. Yeah. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, oh, well, I'd say we, we, caught, we, we caught Darren a bit before he was ready to tell us about this, because I was I going to talk about how he's been using... Um, Chrome only for uh, months. I thought it was longer than that, actually, Dan. But you um, haven't. No, haven't it, been... no, it's only this because everyone else had it, so it oh, yeah. came to me last. Oh yeah, it's been been round. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And so Darren's kind of not been using a Windows PC; he's just been using Chrome for all his work. And then there he is, um, seems to get Chrome onto other computers. I'll check out later. Thanks, Darren.